So um, I'm going to uh, break this song apart and show you the different uh, sounds I used and why I think I used them. And I'm going to start from, of course, the top down. So, of course, we have this uh, piano. Toggle track solo. Uh, right here. Three bars, one beat, four. Very simple. I just have a tiny little bit of reverb on top of that, and it's compressed a little bit. I had the velocity nice and tamed, so it's not up in your face, it's just kind of... Toggle track solo. Toggle track solo, 19 bars, 3 So next you have these uh, really slightly haunting ethereal type chords in the background. It's a, a pad that I found when I was um, searching through the mini sounds that come in Logic. By the way, this was all made with uh, stock sounds and stuff. So you have these. And I honestly didn't have to do all that much to the sound. I took a little bit of the high end out and a little bit of the low end out because I wanted the uh, the bass to take care of that. We're gonna unsolo the piano here. Anyway, there's that. And this is what it just sounds like when I'm... I'm just kind of massaging it with my uh, my mod wheel a little bit. Anyway, so we're gonna move on to the next one here. We have this kind of effects pad here. I kind of have it clashing on purpose. You have the uh, the different things going on, kind of panning around the stereo field here. And yeah, I do have it clipping a little bit on purpose. I think it kind of it kind of fits, so I'm gonna let's see. Let's play with it. Anyway, so there's that. Next, we have the bass. Ah, this is actually a very interesting story. Because it actually um, doesn't originally sound like that. So um, I'm going to uh, open its effects and things to tell you how I shaped this really quickly. All right, so here we are with uh, the equalizer open and all of my parameters uh, that I've changed. So first off here, I have a very, very aggressive high pass filter running right now to uh, get rid of a lot of the higher frequencies that we're not using. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that here, pull that all the way up. down it's still a little and then if I bring it all the way up now in empty space at feel it final toggle tracks all you hear how it's it's um it's ducking like that? That is called uh, side.
side chain compression and basically what's going on is I have um, a, a kick up here that you can't hear because I have it uh, muted but what it's doing is it's uh, kicking into a compressor which is then ducking the sound so every time it hits you can hear my sweep uh, which I'll talk about later ducking as well to it. prominently now that this instrument isn't being tamed and pushed so far down. Now here we have um, my invisible kick here and of course I have this muted so you're not going to hear it. I'm just going to skip right past it but um, just know that the only thing that this track is doing is providing a uh, sound source for my compressor so that it knows so I can use that signal and it knows when to duck my bass and other things down. So uh, next here, we have my actual kick. It's a nice, uh, simple kick. It's used uh, very often um, in a lot of projects I've heard. And I don't like using my uh, main kick as my side chain source. I usually always use something separate. Really simple. I, I honestly didn't even plan this. I just, I started from the beginning. I mean, you just press record and, well, this happened. Anyway, next. First, we have this little small clap right here. It's more of a supporting for my uh, my next clap here, let's see if I can find that. Here it is. So here's this here's this clap by itself. Then I'm gonna add the small one back in. There we go. So it just adds a little more beef to it. There it is by itself. Okay, so those are my claps. Next we have my hi-hat rolls. And um, I essentially just used the note repeater on here with my mod wheel. I don't have it open right now, um, but let me show you uh, these patterns by themselves. I'm just uh, turning my mod wheel up and down depending on how fast or slow uh, what my uh, hi-hat rolls to be. Yep, I'm just playing with it, see? See how it just fits in there? Okay, so the last thing, and these are the most interesting of all because they're typically not uh, normally used in a genre like this. I think this is this is kind of getting into more of a poppy, and well, hip hop kind of, uh, I could see someone maybe putting a verse down on this or something, I don't know. It's not quite what um, the, the genre that this was introduced into. This is more of an EDM kind of effect, and it's called a white noise sweep. And it's called a white noise sweep because literally, all it is, is white noise with some volume automation on it. That's, um, that's how I've learned to do this. I know there are better ways to do it, but let me just um, play one of the sweeps right now by itself. And uh, if you didn't notice, there's a, a, a bit of reverb on there, not too, too much, um, but it kind of just uh, gives it a little bit of a, a breath here. One more time. There we go. Um, but anyway, so those are usually used as transitions and things. So um, as you can hear here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, play a little bit up to it. And you'll see how it transitions from the intro into the... And you'll hear that it's side chain as well. Just mute 
muted that. And then, let's see. It's used mainly as um, a transitional type thing, and then I use it again here to go back from. Loud clap. Voice show stop.